There are a lot of achievements in EU4, and some people have them all. I am not one of them, but I plan to be. So, I put all 166 achievements that I have remaining onto a random wheel that will decide my next campaign. For each campaign, I'll create a standalone highlight video or guide until I've become an EU4 completionist. So without further ado, let's spin the wheel and decide our next campaign. Okay, we're playing as Aragon. Let's go. All right, everyone, we are doing the Consulate of the Sea. For this, we need to play as Aragon and own every Mediterranean center of trade. Actually, no, we don't. We only need to own 12. So for the plan for this one, step one, Diplo vassalize Navarra and ally Castile. If Castile rivals us, we'll just restart. Subjugating Navarra gives us claims on Iberia as well as in Provence, and Ally and Castile will let us use them in wars until we get the Iberian Wedding. Part 2 of our plan is to build ships. Getting 90% of our naval force limit gives us claims on the Barbary Coast, as well as one of the provinces we need for the achievement. And step 3 is to no CB declare war on Byzantium. This is an incredibly common strategy as a start for Aragon, and it is why Aragon is recommended as a country to form Rome with. This lets us reconquest Byzantine cores from the Ottomans before they get too strong, as well as get a few provinces that we need for the achievement, namely two of them that are Byzantine cores and one of them that the Ottomans own that Byzantium has claims on. Alright, let's get into the game. I have gone ahead and I have assigned my estates. The big thing is, we can ally steal. they have not rivaled us. So, we're gonna offer an alliance, check. One other thing before we let a day tick by, is first of all, we're gonna protect trade with our light chips. We're gonna send these guys to Sevilla, and we're gonna send these guys to hunt pirates in Valencia. I do not want pirates in my trade node. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're going to let one day tick by. We'll go up to speed three for a second here. There's one day. Now, we ally Navarra. Perfect. The big thing about Navarra is that we can offer them vassalization. At least you used to be able to be above this, but you can see it's 14 to 15. So if we build the force limit, I'm sure we'll be able to diplo vassalize them. So let's go ahead and build some units. We have 145 to work with and might as well get the force limit. We can build seven. We should declare war in Byzantium right away. So actually, it might be better to send my units straight over to Naples or at least onto uh, Sicily here and we can have a naval invasion of Byzantium. Uh, on day one, but there's no rush on that. We need, we can, we can hold off on that. Let's just try and take it slow. Uh, if these guys ally one person, it's not going to be a big deal. The Ottomans will attack them, no matter what. So, um, and usually they, they have to get a claim first. So it's we have some time. Royal marriage offer from Navarra, perfect. And they will accept vassalization now. Very good, very good. You can improve relations with both of these guys. Let's max them out, and then we're gonna start currying favors with Castile to try and get them in our wars as fast as possible. So. All right, we can offer them vassalization. That's great because uh, if they fell to a union, we wouldn't be able to integrate them for 50 years instead of 10. So it's much better that they are a vassal. That unlocks our mission, which gives us permanent claims in Iberia as well as in Provence. So that's pretty good. So let's look and see here. Permanent claims over here and in Iberia, of course. Um, so we can always attack Provence. If they get excommunicated, even better. So we'll just have to wait for the Pope to uh, hate on them like they usually do. Speaking of the Pope, we can always improve relations with them if we need a uh, use for our diplomat. We are low on admin um, and we're going to do a no CB war, so we're going to lose two stabs. So, no other time to do it. At least they're orthodox and so no one really cares. All right, here we go. All right, let's send our troops in here. Really need to boost this. Real shame. Um, I'm going to focus admin. We need it. Um, Alfonso was really bad at admin. All right, we're, we're taking a crossing penalty here on to Constantinople, but uh, definitely worth it. All right, here's the fight. Let's take a loan out because of an event. And uh, they have nowhere to go, so stack wipes. Then these guys here to recover for now. Wall breach there, really good. And Naples has landed. That's pretty hype. Siege you know Athens for us, really good. All right, let's boost this up one more time. Okay, now we're back where we were. We're still really behind in Evan, but... 
As long as they don't fall behind a mill, we'll catch back up, no problem. We're not really gonna be taking that much land for ourselves. Mostly we'll be playing the Diplo game until uh, we can get the wedding. And then after, you know, after we start doing that, uh, we're gonna start taking the Barbary Coast for ourselves. That's our biggest expansion point. Maybe into Provence and Southern France here, but mostly over here. Let's actually take a look at the achievement. Consulate of the Sea, we need Genoa, Venice, Naples, Salonic, Constantinople, Ragusa. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that one. So uh, we only need a few provinces. Quite frankly, we're gonna get these rather easily. We'll integrate Naples. We'll take these from uh, the Ottomans, Constantinople. We'll have to fight Venice, we'll have to fight Genoa. It won't be that hard because these guys will leave the empire. Um, and Tunis, we'll, we'll, we'll have to deal with them. All right. Um, we're not gonna get this opportunity again. France is in debt and they're not gonna join the war. Well, we got the sack of Constantinople. We get some professionalism here. Um, we might need that because we're out of uh, manpower, but uh, cost money, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But we do have the war score. We get a Byzantine vassal plus a little bit of money, as much as we can, and let's send that peace offer. Fortunately, that makes these guys, um, you know, independent. But uh, we can reconquest them eventually. They're not going to lose that core. And what we could do is declare war on these guys right away for reconquest because they have A, no army, and B, no allies. So we're gonna go right into Arta here. Um, but first, because the French are still at war and won't back these guys up, we're gonna call Castile into a war against Provence, call them in. We already got military access from France. We're gonna go right here. I can cancel the military access here. That might make these guys uh, not able to come and fight us. As long as we're on the war goal, we're going to get that province at the very least. All right, let's declare the Reconquest War here. I hope we don't end up taking losses here. Yeah. Oh, very good. I'd like to get these units over here to reinforce this stack, but uh, unfortunately, I got caught out. Reinforce Castile here because he has no leader, and we end up winning that. Thankfully... Might be able to piece Milan out if we occupy some of their provinces, because they have some noble rebels on their capital, so... That actually might uh, be doable. Blockade is good for the money. 46 ducats. I only get 14 of those, unfortunately. Alright, let's get war up some money from Milan. Really good. Just so much AE. I really wish it was a um, excommunication war. So... Byzantium we don't care about, Provence we don't care about, because we're going to have a truce with them. France is the big deal. We can get France below 50, and Wallachia will drop below 50 on their own, so let's improve with both of them. I should ally you, but uh, I'm going to have claims on you soon, so we might actually fight. Take your money, and boom. Byzantium grows. Oh, and I get some innovativeness for uh, Militech here. That's really good. That's, uh, that's really good. Okay, so we can get some stab. And innovativeness from this event. I'm really behind in in, st in admin, but I think that's the definite definite play there. We'll stab up first and uh, get that. So now we're at plus two stab, and I'm feeling really good. Let's fight there, you last remaining many units. Oh, oh, we have a garbage ruler now. Unfortunate. We're at a mill, so let's take a general. Oh, really good. Oh, I was dreading this. So, the Neapolitan succession. Naples gets liberty desire, and we lose some legitimacy. We keep them. I mean, we just... It's just gotta happen. Oh! Perfect. We're at three stab now. Very good. Alright, we're finally able to piece them out after occupying Anjou. So, um, we're gonna take all three of these. Coalition threat. There really isn't one. Venice, um, we're improving with right now. We'll probably have them drop off. Um, and then Provence will have a huge truce with, so that'll drop off as well. Byzantium's a vassal, and Genoa will slowly improve relations with as well. So, not a big deal. Money, these provinces. We're going to core them all up ourselves, but first... Of course we have to do this. Six dev in our capital. Very good. So there it is. We have our 30 naval force limit, and we meet the requirements for this mission to get permanent claims on the coast here, and uh, we're going to go to war for this. Hopefully before uh, Tunis eats them, because they are winning in this war. We also need this province for the uh, achievement. It's the perfect opportunity to attack these guys too. They have no allies. We'll send these guys right there. 
Okay, let's take all of the provinces we have claims on plus money. Uh, I'm not worried about this coalition, so we're not going to core up too much of it. Um, this is a state, isn't it? Yes, let's do that. Make everything cheaper. Core up, and now that we have a little bit more money, let's take super capture chance. I like that. You know, let's actually add these to trade company. It'd be nice to convert them, but I don't know if I want to go religious ideas this game. It might be better to go something else, so... Yeah. Convert them all to the trade company. We're going to go over our Diplo relations to ally Poland. We're going to start currying favors with them to go in on the Ottomans with Poland-Lithuania's help. Um, and then we'll call Steel into that war too. And between the three of us, we should be able to beat him pretty handily. Um, considering we'll probably have a bigger navy than him by then. Alright, let's get that manpower. That's gonna be really helpful. Yeah, uh, Castile called me into a, a war for this province. They ended up taking these and giving one to Portugal too, so. Yeah, they take some provinces. I get five ducats. I really want to attack Ottomans, but unfortunately Poland will not join. They're in debt and they love the Ottomans. Poland loves the Ottomans. I can't... How many favors do I have with you? That's what I love. See, I can remedy this. This is one of the greatest Munu mechanics. If the AI for some reason loves a historical enemy, I can do this. Now, Poland does not like the Ottomans. There we go. That modifier is gone. The only thing that's causing them to not is the debt and the manpower. So Poland will recover, and um, then they'll join our war after we get two more favors. So yeah, very, very nice new mechanic they added to the game. That's a really good air. We are behind on mill by far. This is fantastic. I was really, really hoping for something good like this. And, 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 it's a woman. That means we're going to get a union. I need her to come of age, and then boom, union. Literally, 15 years, snag that union up. This is fantastic. For a mission, I need a marketplace uh, here and here. And I also need to get a lot more trade power in this region, this area, Liguria, um, which is just these three provinces, really. Um, and from that, I will get claims on Genoa, which I need this province for the achievement. So we're going to do that. Um, so currently, I think the plan right now is to build a spine network on Tunis, claim the two provinces that I need, and then go to war with them, take them, and then that's it. Um, and then after that, we're going to try to go to war with the Ottomans. We might wait until we get the wedding. If we get the wedding and the fee over Portugal, we're going to be strong enough to steamroll everyone. So we're just going to fight Tunis in the meantime. Sounds like a plan. Start the spy network. Let's go. Well, our leader died, and now we have a queen consort regency. Um, she's pretty good, I would say. That's a great thing for us. I don't mind losing that stab. Uh, he needed to go. A 410 is no way to rock. So, uh, yeah, we're actually going to start getting some points this uh, with this leader. We actually might take admin from the estates. I don't mind doing that. Well, I actually didn't expect to get this, but I guess since my queen consort is uh, leading, um, this just pops right up. That's a lot earlier than I thought I would get it, to be honest. I really thought I'd have to wait for her to uh, come of age, but... We're going to chill with the consort for the next 15 years. And uh, we're a lot stronger now. We can pass our mission here, the Crowns of Iberia. We'll have 25 years to get a restoration of the Union on Portugal. So let's actually get over here and uh, we'll try and stack wipe this drilling army. And I want to be up on tech, so I want to take out two loans here. Three loans here. That's fine. We're going to embrace the institution. And um, there we go. Now I'm tempted to go economic first and play the meta economic quantity i'm also tempted to go influence ideas because we're going to be getting quite a few um relations we might have to actually get strong duchies at some point as well um looks like chewy's playing terraria everybody anyways um i think i, I don't know quantity might be better but i the deving the deving is 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 going to be nice but quantity we're going quantity who am i kidding quantity is we can't take this click yet because we need to catch up on miltech but one of the ideas, I've decided. You guys ready to fight England? I'm not, but uh, Portugal shall be mine. 
There we go. Alright, let's siege that, and we'll have these guys reinforce if they need to. Um, and hopefully Steel can uh, carry us here. I really want to catch these ships. Oh, at least I catch Portugal ships. No, I'm not going to fight England's navy. Damn, not that, not that one. Not that stack. Alright, and here we go. Alright, let's get this tech. It's very important. We get huge bonuses. Huge, huge bonuses. And the new cav. So, or the new infantry. They have their infantry combat ability in their ideas, so that's unfortunate for us, but... We out oh, no, they're actually the same tech as us. We don't attack them. Putting them in farmlands. There we go, very good. Stack wipe them on Calais. Let's go. Not a stack wipe for some reason, but this one will be. No, it won't because they got the month tick. Really? That's so obnoxious. There we go. That'll be a, that'll be the stack wipe. No month. No, there we go. No month tick for you. All right, England will white peace, so let's send that demand. They're out of here. Now we have 97% war score on the Portuguese. So nine days when the diplomat gets back here, we shall get the union with Portugal and some money. Bing, bang, boom. Two big unions in the span of only a few years. And we complete our final mission. So we get 100 dip power. We actually need that. Well, uh, Poland would join my war, but um, they're losing to noble rebels and their manpower and money is draining. <laughs> Cannot believe this nonsense. Now, I'm gonna wait until they recover a little bit before I declare the Ottomans. You know what? This is better. We're gonna fight Tunis. Say, whatever, Ottomans. We'll, uh, we'll fight you in a different war. We're gonna fight Tunis. And Ottoman will co-belligerent you. Just because I want your provinces uh, in the peace deal for cheaper war score. Okay, here we go. Dara will be the war goal. Let's get it. Oh, and uh, I forgot about this. Yeah, we have a crusade against the Ottomans right now. So let's go. 30% manpower, 10% morale. That's pretty hype. That's the minimum that we want. We'd also like this and this. I mean, that's it. That's basically it. We'll take all of those for ourselves. And just integrate Byzantium. Well, I mean, we can play a slow game here. We don't need to go crazy hard. That's a pretty great advisor to get right about now. Extra 5% discipline. We're not running that much of a deficit. That's really good. I think almost close to max on the admin. So we need to piece out and some core some stuff up, I think. There we go. That's a little stack wipe. Very good. Um, I'll keep that province for myself just because it is a... Uh, Pretty sick monument. And we need to get, uh, spend some admin, so we can core that up. That gets us some admin efficiency and some liberty desire reductions. Very good. Okay, I desperately need this click. So desperately needed. This click is going to be even better, too. Recovery speed, oof, so good. We're going to keep these guys here. Ottomans managed to drop them off, and they really can't go anywhere, so... Now that I have naval superiority, it's just not going to happen. All right, let's white peace out AQ here. Uh, caught the Ottoman transports again, trying to get their men off of the island here. That's not going to happen. Meanwhile, Castile's finally helping us out in Anatolia. But I do have a really good general here. 5-4, into the treasury or admin power. Treasury, please. I'm ahead on admin, and I need money. All right, I'm about to get pummeled here. Um, the subjects are just not useful whatsoever, so... Uh, we're gonna peace out for this. I'll need to go back for this eventually, so maybe next time Poland will help me, but, you know, AI is useless uh, when they're on your side, so. Uh, this will have to do. Anyways, our progress on Consulate of the Sea has gone up. We've gotten a few more provinces that we needed. Now we just need this, Constantinople, Genoa, and Venice, plus Naples, and so we can integrate these guys in 94. So that's coming up in about 20 years or so. Yeah, now we just need to just kind of chill. We've been uh, barraging probably too much, so we need to catch up on mill. Also, it's time we take a strong duchy, so I canceled the monopoly. And now we're not losing uh, Diplo every month for being so far above our relations. So let's uh, actually cancel our military access to these guys as well. So we need to actually get a claim on the Mamluks to get a CB against them. I think that might be our next war. So we've taken the claims bordering claims because we actually don't have any bordering provinces with them. 
Um, and before that next war, we're going to pop our Golden Era as well. So we're getting ready to either attack the Mamlux or Venice and Genoa. They are allied to each other, which is a shame. Um, but if we do attack Venice, we can get Ragusa and Genoa in the same war. All right, we have our next idea slot. And I was thinking we go for the meta, which is economic. We can develop our provinces. That would be fantastic. Or because we're going to be annexing our subjects, we can go for the uh, end up annexation cost minus 25%. Because we need to annex Naples and Byzantium at some point during this run. So that's an option. I think that because we're going to be annexing them very shortly, we can rush this down and get the achievement a little bit faster. So that's what I'm going to do. Otherwise, I would definitely go economic. But just because of that reason, we're going influence. The annexation cost just makes everything a lot faster when your achievement is reliant on getting certain provinces that our subjects hold. So that's what we get. The influence ideas. We're going to be fighting Venice soon anyway, so let's just go ahead and rival them now. Oh, would you look at that? Austria has declared on our friends the Ottomans. Hmm. I don't care for what reason. Austria is going to win this war. Ottomans are going to be weaker, and uh, they're never going to take this. So that's very good for us. Very, very good for us. We have another about eight years to prepare for war. I'm happy with that. Literally two stab events in a row. I'm so blessed right now. Everything is going well for this run after that. Crappy war. Oh, and Venice declares war on the Ottomans, too. All right, we get a claim on Benghazi. All right, guys. Um, we're going to pop our Golden Era. 50 years of amazing modifiers. Feels good. We can actually take our next idea set with that, so that'll really help our manpower during this war. And we're going to declare right away on the Mamlux. Benghazi as the war goal. Of course, Tunis probably won't give us mill access because they don't like us at all. No, they don't. So we're just going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to take a ship here and pray we don't get obliterated by the Mamluks all marching into the coastal desert. And we'll see how this goes. Hopefully our subjects are actually useful for once, otherwise we might have some trouble. We are ahead on mill, and I'd rather get this war over so that we can be ready to attack the Ottomans. So even though we're doing a mill idea... Alright, we got Alexandria at a 14% siege. It feels really good. Now we're going to blockade them until they submit. It only costs 14% uh, of the war score here, so... After a little while, through ticking, we'll just be able to get it. <laughs> Here's the benefit of having the Pope, your junior partner. They call the Crusade against the Mamluks. Unfortunately, that means they're not going to call us a Crusade against the Ottomans later, but the Ottomans are going to be pretty beat up by then, so I'm not worried. Once this siege is over, we're going to have a little naval fight here. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Siege of Cairo is now over, and we can take this province plus all the money we want. Not quite all the money we want. We're darn near close. Almost a thousand ducats here. Plus the one province we need for our achievement. So let's go ahead and actually concentrate this. Might as well make it cheaper to core. We'll uh, do this. Add to the trading company. Boom. All right, you guys go here. This is where we're going to invade from. Um, we're either going to attack the Ottomans from the Balkans here, or we're going to attack Venice from the Balkans here as our war goal before we go into Genoa, Ragusa, and uh, Venice itself. We're going to need, with all this money that we just bought, build some more boats. Um, let's actually build a flagship, too. Flagship will go in Valencia. Galleys everywhere. We're going to go over force limit here. I don't really mind. Yes! Look at these boats, baby! All right, let's get this claim on Genoa. That'll be useful. Austria pieces out. They take a bit of land up here, and they return some cores to Serbia. And now it's Venice's turn to uh, peace out as well, but they're actually losing. Not getting war score from battles, it appears, and they peace out. They were too scared. I don't think they took anything. Let's, uh, let's take a look and see what Poland's looking like. Still in debt. Still have no manpower. You still like the Ottomans. Here's the fuse up in June of this next year. Hashtag blessed. Let's go. Free money. We'll pay off that loan that I just took from some events. Very good. Boys, do you see what I see? I see two mothballed forts and two armies within range of them. That's fully maintained for some reason, but mothballed, mothballed. Very good. We get this. We control the strait. We just win the war. I mean, what can they really do against us after that? We have uh, 35 galleys in this fleet. And let's go. 
No garrison. No garrison. And uh, we're gonna blockade that straight. Perfect. Boom! Let's go. You can't cross. That's what that. That's just. It's so strong. And that siege is over. And we'll send you to Albania over here. Oh my. Easy peasy. Can we just do this? I mean, and be done with it? We might be able to. I'm taking this for myself. The rest can go to Byzantium. Actually, we're integrating them anyways. We need Constantinople. It can all go to Byzantium. I don't care. All right. Let's uh, take Miltech ahead of time. Infantry fire is the big thing. We don't need Cav Shock, but that 0.25 fire is pretty good. All right. We can get this for less Liberty Desire. Um, that's not really doesn't doesn't really matter. The big thing is going to be this. So we're going to rush this down. Um, and then start integrating Byzantium and Naples, actually. So that'll be good. All right, a 51-year-old discipline advisor has died. Let's go for the uh, younger 45-year-old one. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Damn, I'm playing too fast. I'm so screwed. Maybe. Wait, I'm actually rocking them. Wow, I'm actually rocking them. I, I can't believe I just won that. Look at that number discrepancy. Oh, they didn't have a general. Oh, I'm so lucky. Holy sh... Okay, we take this uh, on time, and we still get four innovativeness because, uh, well, it's just broken. And uh, we can also take uniformity for bonus missionary strength, so might as well take it. Oh, ho, ho, I love this event. All right. Um, yes, please. What do we get? What did we get? What did we get? A lot of maneuver. Three siege. Uh, that's not bad. Three-star general. Let's go. And a wall breach right away. That's what I'm talking about. That's just huge. Very, very big. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to have a better time to attack them than right now, actually. We're going to... Uh, we're just going to reconquest. I mean, it's going to be a while until we can be done with this, so we might as well do it now. Let's start this. We can always integrate Naples later. Wait, actually... That's all of their units are trapped here. I can just keep my ships right here and uh, they can't move. All right, we get this uh, click here. It's going to be a lot faster to annex. And then once we get this extra two dip rep, it's going to go a little bit quicker too. So I think we're just going to ball out our influence ideas here until we get that dip rep. I don't care about dip tech right now. It's just not yeah, not useful. Venetian Navy snuck around me and these guys got off their little island. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but gotcha. Yeah, you're not going to be a problem no more, are you? I didn't think so. Okay. Got to watch out for that 26 stack. Um, yeah, I'm going to send this guy to Seize Down Venice, and then we can take that in the peace deal. All right. And let's do one of them. Peacing out, we take Venice, and we take uh, the rest of Byzantium's cores. And we take money, and one less money. For war reparations. Boom, bang, bing. Okay. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to take some dev from you. We'll core that up. Byzantium gets a little bit bigger. That's fine. Uh, we're integrating them. We'll get all of that shortly. We're about 10% done. So it'll take another you know, a few years. 23 is when we're projected to get that. That's, that's our diplo. Diplo rep is so low, but we're going to up our diplo rep quite a bit. Um, we can also up our diplo rep by doing this. So that'll be nice. Yeah, that takes about 10 years off of it. So we need to get into our Diplo ideas. Um, I'll focus this, if I can, in a few years. <gasps> oh, this makes me so happy, guys. Take a look at this. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, you love to see it. You know, I definitely need this dip rep guy here. It's really going to speed this up by quite a lot. So we're going to hire him. Making a little less money, but we can afford it right now. We're doing really well with these war reps. All right, claims border and claims. Very good for Mish for uh, achievements like this. We have Ancana here, and now we have a claim on Ragusa. I could have just declared on the Pope, but that's unfortunate. Oh, speaking of unfortunate, their bankruptcy ended. And declare the war. You can march across the ships. Very good, very good, very good. All right. Ottomans, can you peace out right away? We're gonna go catch the um, the Papal Navy. And stack wide, very good. Very good. 
You guys group back up here. Boats go here. We're gonna march to Ragusa. Poland, sure, I'll accept that. If only you'd join me in any of my wars. I don't know why I allied you in the first place. Okay, Genoa. I can declare on you shortly. Mantua won't join. We'll just wait until after this war. Oh ho, in the mountains here? And they still bop them. Why don't you chase them down? Oh, there you go. You had to think about it for a second, didn't you? And, oh, oh, we get baited, but still winning. Castillo P. Pop in your golden era. Why don't you, dude, come on. And now you're now you're going after him. Okay. Yeah, he's got to think really hard about this stuff. There you go. A little bit of money for my trouble. Why not? All right, Siege of Ragusa is over. Let's take the province. Let's concentrate here. Be a little bit cheaper and core that up. All right, let's declare war on Genoa for Genoa. You can siege on Saluzzo. Okay, we can take Genoa here, but we're at threat of coalition. So let's try and improve relations with all these guys and get them out of the coalition before we accept peace with them. We'll just do that for now. And uh, any potential coalition members, we'll just improve with after the fact. Now it's just an improved relations game until we can integrate. That's it. We're done with all our wars. We're looking at 9 out of the 12 that we need, and 3 of them are on our subjects. And we'll just speed 5 it for the rest of this campaign. Alright, that's the dip rep. So let's look at this. Um, annexing will be done 1511 December. We'll be done 1509 March. Very good. Very, very good. Now we're only making four per month. That's fine. As long as we're making something, we're in the clear. If we die, 12% inheritance chance. That's pretty good. You know, if you really wanted to save scum it, you could just kill off your ruler. And if you failed, go back. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to integrate them the old fashioned way after we're done with Byzantium. Look at this border gore in the Ottomans right now. Oh my God. Venice just peaced out. And um, yeah, that's actually pretty gross. Okay. This is something that I, I almost forgot to do. Um, when you're inheriting a subject and they're a loyal, Concentrate their development. Look at this corner of the screen here. 78.6%, 81%. As long as they remain loyal, the integration will be a lot faster. That reduces their debt by 10. That reduces their debt by 3. This one, another 3. 92% on the integration. We can even do this one, reduce their debt by another 2. Very good. 93% of the integration. We went from 78 to 93 by concentrating dev. Very good thing to do after you do the integrations. In the last campaign I did, I did not do that. I concentrated beforehand and it took me forever to integrate, integrate Dai Viet and Lan Zhang. So thank you guys for pointing that out in the comments. Uh, make sure to remember to do that every time because I can be pretty forgetful. Okay, unfortunately our dip rep is gonna go down. We're not gonna click that yet and save ourselves uh, a little bit of speed here. Um, we inherit our subject here. We are one away from the achievement. So let's send these guys a gift and uh, we'll start annexing them as well. Well, it's about damn time I get the mission whose namesake is the achievement we're going for. We get permanent claims on this area. So extra trade efficiency, very good. Venetian silk, it's produced and silk is now produced in Valencia. Guilds of Barcelona, free base production in Barcelona will I don't know, do economic or something? Sure, whatever. Integration is a slow process. We're the number one great power now, ahead of Ming because they're taking way too long to get on tech. And uh, let a day pass. And we have the achievement, the Consulate of the Sea in 1518. That was pretty quick, I think. I mean, you only need so many centers of trade. It says, you know, have every Mediterranean center of trade, but you really only need a few. So it does lie to you. And just because we got that achievement, we'll just form Spain for the heck of it. Well, everyone, that was Consulate of the Sea. I hope you guys enjoyed this campaign. It was a rather short one, but it was pretty action packed. With that being said, guys, let's roll again and see what we get. Friends of Egypt, I was I was actually like, oh, that would be a fun one to do next, right before spinning this. So uh yeah, we'll do Prince of Egypt.